To build better machines, engineers have over a thousand years of experience studying users. Observable user patterns, particularly movements related, have been utilized in establishing design requirements. Movements reflect the user preference or choice or decision, which could be manifested in various forms, ranging from facial expression, gait and posture, hand gesture, location, key press, to voice. Our lab studies how our brain works and develops tools that engineers are using to better understand behaviors. With the advancement in science, we could better understand the basis of these muscle-driven movements and even alternative measures to study behaviors other than movements, which are made possible by better sensor technologies. For example, wearables with surface electrodes allow us to measure electrical signals related to information transmission in the nervous system. Our lab has been collaborating with neuroscientists and clinical practitioners to study how our upper limbs and lower limbs function. The findings of these motor learning studies will be beneficial to science, rehabilitation, and the development of assistive devices such as motor prosthetics. Building a deeper understanding of the biological vision systems allows us to develop new artificial neural networks that work more efficiently by mimicking the brain connectivity patterns. We collaborate with industry on a project called Lifelong Vision. In particular, we hope to develop assistive systems that can learn continuously in a changing environment after deployment instead of operating on computer vision systems trained solely on pre-built data sets. We are also extending our work to investigate the environmental effects on animal models. Why is this important? With the increasing prolonged use of mobile devices, the safety of related electromagnetic waves on the nervous system is a public concern. In collaboration with the State Key Laboratory in our department, we're developing a high-throughput platform to investigate millimeter wave influence on the neural system of zebrafish larvae using significantly reduced experimental preparation and analysis time. By testing different power levels, a ref reference safety level could be identified. Our lab focuses on the computational models of biological neural circuits which provide solutions for reverse engineering neural interconnections, better understanding how the brain works, that also help to develop smarter machine learning algorithms capable of lifelong learning and building next generation neural prosthetics, human computer interface, and assistive devices to restore function damage by disease or injury for patients. All these work may one day even enhance human performance in the long run.